Hi, Leo. It's time for your love reading for September 16th through September 30th, 2019. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Hope y'all are doing well this September. Sorry I'm a day late here. A couple days. I really wanted to get this done over the weekend, but life had other plans. <laughs> anyway, forgive me for being a, few, a little bit late, okay? Sorry. Uh, if you guys are uh, returning, thank you so much. I want to go ahead and thank all you Leos that have been supporting my channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Thank you so much. And if you are new here, thank you very much for stopping by. Welcome. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If it does, I hope that you'll hit the like and subscribe button and drop me a comment. Um, if not, then check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs and you might find something there. Okay? I don't know if I mentioned in my last reading for you guys that I am open for personal readings now. So if you're interested, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. I want to apologize for my voice. I seem to have come down with some laryngitis. So I am uh, struggling, but we're going to get you straight here, all right? So I've been shuffling your energy into the cards, all three of my decks, for about 10 minutes. So it is in there. <clears throat> And we're ready to go. All right, so let's do it. Spirit, show me the love energies for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Leo for September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. Love energies, the Lady Bee spread for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Leo for September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. Spirit. Also, if you're new, you'll see that I use my pendulum to determine whether the card should be upright or reversed. So you know what I'm doing when I whip that boy out. <laughs> um, all right, Spirit, Love Energies for Leo, September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. Here we go. Leo, how you are feeling about your love interest during this time period? Judgment. I did see this before in the pre-shuffle. So maybe you're thinking you need to make a very important decision regarding this person or you want a resurrection. You're trying to pull a Lazarus here. Um, it looks like you may have somebody from your past that you are uh, hoping to reconcile with. Or you're just needing to make a very important decision. Or you're waking up to something. Maybe you're waking up to your feelings for this person. Could be. All right. How they see you is the Nine of Swords currently in reverse. That's air energy, by the way. Judgment is Scorpio. The swords are air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's in reverse now. We'll see. <clears throat> Hopefully it stays that way. How your love interest feels about you. The Page of Wands. Sexy. Sexy page of wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with another Leo or another fire sign or just somebody that thinks you're hot stuff. Okay, how are significant events in the past that's led up to the current energy between you and your person, the emperor, currently in reverse. This is card of Aries. Maybe there was some power struggles or uh, just some stubbornness. The emperor doesn't budge. He's in reverse right now. We'll have to see um, how that turns out. Current situation between you and your person. The Ace of Pentacles. Nice. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy. So maybe an offer is uh, coming your way or you're thinking about extending an offer. Uh, the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you during the next uh, 15 days, I guess. The 16th through the 30th of September. The Page of Cups. Very nice. So that's uh, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. <clears throat> and your advice when dealing with this person, Leo. The Ten of Swords. Interesting. That's probably going to go reversed. That's air energy. Air um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Looks like you may have been on a cycle with this person. You have the Nine and Ten of Swords here, by the way. Your outcome for September 16th through September 30th, 2019. Wheel of Fortune. Yay. 
It's in reverse right now, but we'll have to see. It's Jupiterian energy. Um, I, oh, your overall energy is the Four of Wands, Leo. Very nice. It's currently in reverse, but we'll see. Uh, that's fire energy also, Aries, Leo, Sag. This Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy. It can also be a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, yourself, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me, but let's just see what direction he's supposed to be in. Spirit, upright or reverse, the Four of Wands, please. Judgment. The Nine of Swords. Page of Wands, the Emperor, the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Very nice. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, like I said, all right, that looks a lot better. So this Four of Wands is upright. This is supposed to be reversed. And the Emperor is upright and the Wheel is upright. Okay. So it looks good. <clears throat> hmm. And underneath that Four of Wands, which is your overall energy, Leo, this is an energy of stability, of leveling up. If you, uh, whatever stage you're in in your connection, it's about leveling up and making the foundation stronger. It could be about celebration. This is one of the marriage cards uh, that's considered a marriage card um, in the deck. It is also a Twin Flame 1111 card, if you believe in that. Um, it's be Behind it is Justice, so I feel that this is karmically indicated i feel like uh like i said you've been on a cycle with this person it may not have been all that pleasant but because it's the swords here and it's not pleasant but it looks like you may be getting ready to get your just desserts balance will be restored and uh, you may be getting what you deserve leo good for you it looks like you really want it you want i feel like this is for most of you somebody from your past that you're wanting to reconnect with uh reconcile with uh but if it is a new person um it could just, like I said, be a decision or you're waking up to your feelings about them. We'll be getting some more cards to find out more information on that. How they see you. I feel like they think you may be getting over it, whatever happened or whatever. You were upset about something and they, I think they knew it or they, they know that you were and they don't think that you are anymore. Is that Nine of Swords? Is in reverse, which is good. If you were in Nine of Swords and you're coming out of it, good for you. Okay. How they feel about you, like I said, yeah, they think you're sexy. They, they, I mean, look at the wand. Look at the wand. Look at how he's holding it. They feel very passionate about you. They want a passionate start or new start with you. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just, it's hella sexy energy. So they dig you, Leo. Okay. In the past, there may have been, like I said, some power struggles. There may have been ego involved. Somebody's ego could have been getting in the way. Somebody could have just been a little bit too rigid. Uh, the emperor can be a little bit rigid. Um, so there may have been some expectations that somebody wasn't budging on or something. Uh, or like I said, a power struggle. Or just, he doesn't really budge. Um, he does get stuff done and take take a he takes action, except that most of the time, I don't think he needs to because stuff just comes to him. He he sits there and just does his emperor thing. I mean, I'll have to get some more cards to get some more information on that and what happened in the past with you guys. Currently, it looks like I said, either you're expecting an offer or you should be expecting an offer because your partner is thinking or your love interest is thinking about sending one or you're thinking of sending an offer, a stable offer pentacles so pentacles can include cups they don't have to but i mean in a love reading it's a good sign a pentacle is definitely a good thing any of the aces are good really but the pentacle means that it's whatever's going to be offered is going to be solid for sure it's definitely going to be solid um how they or the action they're most likely to take towards you it's probably them that's going to make this offer because it looks like they're going to be making this offer although Anything I say, if I say them, it could be you and vice versa because these energies are interchangeable. It's a general reading, so take it how it resonates. But somebody's coming forward with a cup. 
What's in that cup? Well, something emotional, and it's not bad. The Page of Cups is not negative emotions. It's positive emotions. Somebody has something good and uh, sweet to say. Something. Somebody has something sweet to say to the other. It, might, it could be an apology. I don't want to say that. It could be an apology, um, or it could be an apology plus. You know, some more emotions. Some emotional communication is coming. Okay, and then uh, your advice is to let it go. Let the cycle complete. It's You've been through a very painful cycle with this person or on your own. Um, this is a, a relationship spread, so I feel like for most of you it is with this person. And, of course, your feelings are judgment, so it looks like you want to resurrect. You may be on a break from this person. They're coming forward with an apology because um, it looks like something ended or you thought it ended. But it's not really over. <laughs> I think that the cycle of pain is over, but I don't see that the relationship is over. So your advice is to just heal from that pain. Heal from whatever it is you went through. Figure out what it is that you were supposed to learn from it and move on. Don't hang on to that energy, okay? Because look, the divine has your back. Whatever you believe in. Whoever you believe in. Whatever you believe in. This is the universe. So it's it's God. It's the universe. It's it's divine providence. Is got your back. There's going to be changes coming in your future. at the By the end of September. Expect change. The Wheel of Fortune is change. It's an upright in the upright. So I believe it will be positive change in this situation. Okay. Let's get some more cards, Leo. <clears throat> Spirit, please clarify these cards for the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out, please. Love energies for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 16th through September 30th, 2019. Sorry about that. Hang on, I just want to make sure because I got a little bit like weird on my shuffling spirit are the top eight cards the correct cards for leo and the card at the bottom of the deck is the overall energy thank you all right so clarifying that judgment is how you feel about them leo the star nice currently in reverse aquarius you could be dealing with aquarius okay so that judgment is scorpio and then the aquarius there how they see you the ace of wands interesting Maybe you're, you just started a new project or you're starting a new project and you're very passionate about it. <clears throat> or they see you again as hella sexy. How they feel about you. The three of pentacles. That's earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's currently in reverse. I feel like it's going to turn up, right? We'll see. Uh, the past on top of that emperor. Justice. Interesting. Very interesting. So yeah, I do feel like you were going through a karmic situation with this person. Could be dealing with a Libra uh, and the Emperor's Aries. So that's that axis, uh, Aries, Libra axis there. Okay, the current energy between you and your person, the Ace of Cups. Oh my God, nice. I'm sure this will turn up right because the other one's upright. So that's two Aces in your current energy. New beginnings, Leo, new beginnings. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. The action your love interest is most likely to take towards you during this time period. The Empress. So you have the Emperor and the Empress both in the same reading. You guys are soulmates. No doubt. She's in reverse right now, but that's also Libra energy and Taurus. Uh, your advice on top of that Ten of Swords. The King of Wands. Currently in reverse. That is you, Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but particularly Leo because he's a king, ain't he? But it could be male or female. It doesn't have to just be a male, okay? The energies can be... They go back and forth, all right? And your outcome, Leo, on top of that wheel of fortune, the Page of Cups. That's the uh, 
the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you. So it's and it's in your outcome. Currently reverse. I'm sure it'll turn up right. That's Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Overall, Energy, the Eight of Swords. Currently in reverse. Clarifying that Four of Wands. That's Air, Energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so let's see what direction these should be in. Spirit, upright or reverse the Eight of Swords, please. Very good. The Star. The Ace of Wands. <clears throat> The Three of Pentacles, Justice, the Ace of Cups, the Empress, the King of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Thank you. Okay, yeah, so this is a really nice reading, Leo. I was going to say I want to be a Leo this month, but I am a Leo. I'm a Leo rising. So I'm going to look afterwards when I rewatch this to figure out what to name it to see if it applies to me. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so clarifying that four of wands as your overall energy. So maybe you guys have been very focused on commitment, focused on, you know, just stabilizing a, this particular connection in general. Um, and you've been really, really overthinking about it and just like kind of worried about it. And that's coming to a close. You're not going to have to worry about that anymore, Leah. I mean, Libra, Leo. Ugh, I just saw the justice card and was trying to say Libra, but also Leo. And it came out Leah. <laughs> All right. So how you feel about your person? Yes, you definitely want a new beginning with them. This is, for most of you, somebody from your past, I believe. Okay, but uh, if it's a new person, then like I said, you could be making a decision, awakening to your feelings, feeling hopeful. But uh, I do feel for most of you, it is someone from your past. You are wanting to reconcile with someone. You have new hope in this connection, and you've been wishing for it. And I think your wish is coming true, but this is how you feel. So you've been wishing. It's something you've been wishing for. Okay. Uh, how they see you. Yeah, getting over it, not worrying about it anymore. Maybe you got a new project, a new idea, a new spark that you're focused on right now. Or they think you're over them, but they think you're hella sexy. They think maybe you're ignoring them and getting over them and it's turning them on. I don't know. But it could be any of those things, Leo. Okay. Um, how they feel about you. They want to build they definitely see you as sexy. They feel sexy and passionately towards you. They want to start a new beginning. Um, they want to build with you. This is a building card, teamwork. They want to meet up. They want to talk about what's going on. What are you going to do? What's the foundation? This is right before laying a foundation. Okay, the threes. Threes is about growth and building. And see, this one is about teamwork as well. So they want to partner with you. In the past, though... I think you guys had some karma you had to work out. There may have been an injustice, an imbalance uh, of energy. Somebody may have been putting in more than the other one. Somebody was just really more focused on this than the other person was. There may have been some rigidity. It was very unfair. I feel like there was just general imbalance and unfairness in the past. And I do feel like there may have been karma involved, okay? Currently, though, oh, wow, man. New beginnings abound. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, love and stability. What else do you want in a love reading? That's what's swirling around you right now, getting ready to to knock on your door, Leo, okay? And uh, they're going to knock on your door with a cup with a fish in it? Uh, just kidding. No, they're going to have an, an emotional, uh, they have some emotion to share with you, either an apology or an apology plus, or if they don't need to apologize for something, but I see a ten of swords here, so I think they might. Um, they're going to share some of their feelings with you and... Their feelings are that they want to grow with you. Like we see with this three of pentacles, they want to build with you. Okay. And they definitely want to give you the wand and, uh, they may be coming forward for some of you. If you're not looking to get pregnant, somebody might be coming your way, trying to get you pregnant, trying to, um, or trying to get pregnant. If you're a male, somebody may be coming forward and uh, smooth talking you and trying to try to do that. That, that, Maybe, I don't know where that came from, but it may be for a small percentage of you that 
just watch out, be careful, okay? Somebody might be trying to trap you, but I don't really feel any nefarious energy here in this reading. It looks really nice, so like I said, if it does resonate with somebody out there, please comment, let me know. But um, if you think that's uh, something that might be applying to you. But other than that, I think for most of you, somebody's coming forward and gonna communicate to you that they wanna grow with you. They, they think you are the bee's knees with this empress, okay? Abundance and beauty and just amazing and they want to tell you that they think you're amazing and that they want to build with you they want to grow with you they want to be abundant with you they might want to have your babies like i said even if they're not going to come and try to do something like that they might probably do want to maybe think about having a family with you if uh, you're of that age okay your advice step into your fire step into your power with that king of wands okay be confident going forward. Get over all this hurt from the past. Yes, you have been through it. Many of us have, but there comes a time where you do have to let it go so that you can step back into your power, Leo. Okay, so let the past go. Step into your power. If there's action that you know you need to take, you need to go ahead and take it. But otherwise, just be confident and, uh, and yeah, action-oriented. And you're just be your sexy self, Leo. All right? Your outcome, yeah, change. This apology's coming, this offer of emotion's coming. I do believe that it's divinely guided with this Wheel of Fortune. I feel, like I said, there was karma. I feel like this reunion and just everything that's happening, I just get a sense of uh, divine providence, divine, like you're being steered together somehow, I feel. Um, but there will be an offer of emotion, I believe, for most of you by the end of September. Uh, I don't like to really narrow it down too tightly to the time frame, so it could be before or after, but I do feel for most of you, by the end of September, you will be hearing from somebody with an offer of emotion, okay? So let's get some more cards and see what else we can find out. Spirit, please clarify these cards for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. For September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> September 16th through September 30th, please. How you feel about your person on top of judgment and Aquarius, the nine of pentacles. You think they look good, they, they feel good, and they smell good. You just think they are hell of attractive. I mean, the nine of pentacles, whether it's male or female, is very attractive. They're independent, they're good looking, they are abundant on their own, and uh, they get a lot of attention. They're very attractive. They have birds. <laughs> Uh, how you appear to this person or how they see you. Temperance, currently in reverse. Card of Sagittarius. We'll have to see where that goes. How they feel about you. The Five of Wands, currently in reverse. I feel that'll stay that way based on the other cards. They don't want to fight with you. You guys have some conflict and they want it to end. Okay. Or mm, they feel there's no competition when it comes to you, Leo. Could be. Past. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the current energy between you and your person, the Four of Wands. Well, yeah, what better to go on top of that Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups? So, if you are not currently already experiencing this Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, which I feel for the majority of you, you're not. It's current energy situation, but that doesn't mean it's actually manifested in this realm yet. Uh, but it, it's right there at the door. It looks like you're going to be leveling up and getting a nice stable offer of love and stability from this person during the 16th to the 30th. Um, the action they're most likely to take towards you, strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. You're a Leo. Okay, this is... Uh, 
they may be <clears throat> communicating. See, the funny thing, oh, let me get the rest of these cards down. Sorry, hold on. Your advice, the Eight of Cups. Currently upright. We'll see how it goes. That's Water Energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. And then your outcome, the Nine of Wands. Currently upright. It's Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. It's my one fuck left card. We'll see if you have one fuck left. <laughs> Your overall energy is the Two of Wands, which is more fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Crossroads energy. Okay, let's see. Spirit, upright or reverse, please. The Two of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. Temperance. The Five of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, Strength, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so... Yeah, everything else is right. So your overall energy <clears throat> is the Two of Wands, clarifying the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Four of Wands. So let me put them all together for your overall energy. Commitment, stability, You've been thinking a lot about it, kind of probably obsessing about it. You're not going to have to obsess about it anymore because it's at your door. It's coming. You have to decide now. Is it really what you want? This is the crossroads. Is this the avenue you want to go down? Because you've apparently been on a long, painful cycle with this person and you may not actually want to. Uh, you have to decide. This is the crossroads. It's a life-changing decision, a choice, maybe between two people. I don't necessarily see other evidence of that, but I have to throw it out there. But it's mainly what direction are you going to take with your life? Now that this is finally here, are you going to go with it? What are you going to do, Leo? Okay. How you feel about your person, I think you're probably going to go for it. Because <laughs> you've been wishing for it. You want this reconciliation for sure. You've definitely been wishing for it. And I feel like it is written in the stars. Like I said, I feel karma here heavy. Um, uh, and, uh, you definitely think they're attractive. You are, you're very, I think you probably can't stop thinking about them because this person is like somebody that people would obsess over. They're, they're just so amazing. Okay. So you're pretty excited about that person. Uh, how they see you. I don't think they think that you really want to reconcile. Actually, I think. They see you getting over it, maybe, like I said, focusing on a new project or passion, and that you're not really interested in reconciling right now, Leo. That's what the impression that they're getting. Well, they might think that you have somebody else new, another uh, sexy Nine of Pentacles person that you have your eye on, but they don't think that you're uh, feeling a reconciliation, Leo. Um, how they feel about you. They do want it. They want that passionate, fresh new beginning. They want to build with you. They want to meet up. They don't want to fight. They want to end this conflict. Whatever conflict you're in, they want it to be over. Okay. In the past, I do feel like, like I had said about that imbalance, I think it was about commitment. You guys were not on the same page as far as your futures, as far as what maybe what you want, as far as the direction this relationship was headed in or whatever, you were not on the same page. So, and neither one of you, I don't think, were budging. I think one of you wanted the commitment. Maybe one of the other one was not feeling the commitment. And both of you were pretty set in your ways about it. And there was an imbalance. It just was not a good foundation. There was an imbalance of energy maybe being exchanged and being invested. Uh, and I think it was surrounding the idea of commitment. And uh, could have been money. I mean, it could have been money with that Ten of Pentacles, to be honest. Uh, but when I think Ten of Pentacles, especially in a love reading, I think of the long haul, growing old together. Like, this is my, this. I'm your person, you're my person, we're settling down, this is it. Okay? Um, the, like I said, the current energy between you guys or what's right at your door. Love, stability, love, stability and love. Commitment. The Four of Wands, beautiful. 
okay? The action they're most likely to take towards you. This is what I was finding interesting because in this strength card, Leo, okay, this is thought to be the Empress taming the beast, okay? So they want to come forward and tell you something emotional, and I feel like they want to tell you maybe, for some of you, that you're the, you know, you're their empress. They see you as this amazing, amazing, abundant, beautiful, gorgeous, just amazing, nothing better, no competition when it comes to you person and that you've actually been able to maybe tame them a little bit, that they're willing to settle down for you, Leo. Okay. I do feel like that's what's going to happen. Settle down, tame. It's kind of the same thing. And that's what I'm feeling from this card. I feel like they're going to say, all right, fine. I'm ready to settle down. Um, yeah, or they might come in and say, if you can just be a little bit patient with me about the growth and the, the speed of the growth, whatever they could say that, but whatever they're going to say, I feel that they're going to be sincere. It is an emotional offer, an emotional gesture. Okay. Um, your advice, I kind of feel like maybe you do need to throw them a bone, Leo, because they don't think that you're interested in reconciling at all. And I clearly see that you are. Okay, so to end this cycle, and you need to get over that for sure. I think you're, you're being advised not to walk away, okay? So if you're thinking of moving on, I don't think you should do that until you maybe do one last ditch effort. Like, just throw a bone, you know, maybe just a, I don't know, a small text message or like a post or something like that to let them know that you don't hate them because it looks like they might think that you do. Okay, so that's what I think your advice is, your outcome like I said, change, divinely guided change, an apology or offer of emotion. And even though you guys, I, I think you're going to have to think about it, Leo, to be honest, even though I know that you do want this person, I can see that you want this person, but I think you've been through so much and you have to decide with that crossroads if you want to give it that one last fuck. Because this is my one last fuck left. I do think that you are going to, but he has been through a lot. Look at him. He's beat down. Okay. So he, uh, you know, you might be uh, really thinking, do I want to go down this road again? You know, I do feel the person is sincere and it might work out well, uh, especially if you have the universe, that, it, you know, on your back. You, the universe has got your back. So I, I think it's probably not a bad idea, uh, but you have to decide for yourself. Leo. You're the one at the crossroads. OK, so that is your outcome, Leo, for September 16th through September 30th. I hope that it, uh, you liked it. If it resonated, please hit the like and subscribe button. Drop me a comment. I appreciate that so much. And uh, if it didn't, check out your moon, Venus, Venus, and rising signs. And thank you very much. See you in October. Bye.